Happy, happy Monday. How are we? Can you believe it's August 2nd? August, August, rolling around. Time for school. Oh my goodness. All right. So, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And I topped off my weekend for discovering a yellow jacket nest in my strawberry garden. Yes. So, that was pretty crazy. <clears throat> I was pulling weeds and this one area had a lot of dead leaves and um, like a really dead patch. <clears throat> I was lifting some of that dead stuff up out of my garden and all of a sudden I see this hole and all of a sudden a yellow jacket pops out. And I'm so glad that it was only one, one that I could see, but oh my goodness. He fiercely came at me. I was trying to get out of my garden as fast as I could. Stung me. And man, it was a jolt of pain. Whew, I haven't gotten stung in a long, 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 long time. So, you know, I get like bug bites, mosquito bites, but man, watch out for yellow jackets. Their sting comes with a punch. They say they don't leave a stinger, but man, I was on the side of my calf, and I am still a little sore from it. <laughs> like, whoa! So what I did, I um, someone said, put mustard on it. So I put mustard on it. And then another time I did um, baking soda with essential oils. That was really pulling the pain out. And then um, and then I finally did the, uh, the silver gel, the renewal. Um, Silver gel, which pulls out any microbes, any any toxins that's you know left inside of a bite. It's it's a pulling, nice natural, amazing healing pulling agent. So I put that on there, all that, and um, so yeah, the swelling didn't get too bad, but it kind of formed a little little knot. So that was a little surprise. <laughs> Good morning, Abigail. Thank you so much for joining. Oh wow, I hope you're doing well. And we're getting ready to hop to our the power of being thankful. This has been an amazing series, and um, I just got sharing how I uh, <laughs> got stung by a yellow jacket, and that was pretty painful. So I was um, weeding my strawberry garden, and I was very surprised that a yellow jacket nest would be hiding under the strawberry, you know, um, bed. So very, very surprising. So we're going to hop to our devotion for today. It's God Cares for You. And this is out of 1 Peter 5, 7. This is very encouraging. Casting the whole of your care. So casting every part of your care. Not just some of it, but the whole part of your care. So which is all of your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all, on Him. And what I love about Jesus is that, you know what? He really takes pleasure in carrying our burdens. And it's exactly what he did on the cross. You know, I'm like, wow. For he cares for you affectionately. Do you look at Jesus as caring affectionately for you? And cares about you watchfully. So he watches over you. He sings over you. He wants the best for you. And even to the point that he says, come, roll your burdens, come, cast your cares on me because I care for you. God cares about everything that concerns you and he wants to personally take care of you. Don't make yourself miserable and worry about things that God wants to release to him. So he wants you to release them to him, not put them on yourself. When we are anxious today about what may happen tomorrow or things that happened yesterday, we waste the day God has graciously given to us. The next time you are tempted to get anxious or upset about something, especially about something in the past or the future, which really it's, you know what, what, what can we do, you know, about the past? What can we do right now about the future? Nothing. Today is the day that we focus in and we cast everything to him. And we zone in on the beautiful day that he's given us. 
so we don't miss the day. We don't miss the day. So worrying, you miss out. <laughs> you miss out on now moments. You miss out on the joy of the now. So we want to learn from the goodness of God from your past and prepare for the future. But live in the present, remembering that no matter what happens, he always loves you and wants the very best for you. And then we'll do a prayer of thanks together. Father, I'm so thankful that you love me and you care about my life. Today I choose to not let worry ruin what you have planned for me. I am going to remain grateful that you are with me and that you will never leave me. Hallelujah, what a beautiful promise to grab a hold of this morning. Thank you, Jesus, that he's never going to leave us. He's always there for us. His words in the, in the book of life, in the very, very Bible, his living words are always available to us to give exactly what we need. And I just appreciate the Lord so much. How about you? <laughs> We're going to hop to it. We're going to get out an amazing, handy dandy essential oil. And I always love to do roll-ons. They're very, very convenient. And they're so helpful with many, many things. So I have eucalyptus, and then I also have lobelia, and lobelia is a liquid herb that's really phenomenal to really loosen up and relax muscles along with an essential oil. So I have eucalyptus, which is really invigorating and awakening, and great for morning. <laughs> Opens up the lungs, nasal passages, your head. <clears throat> so grab what your favorite essential oil is. We're just going to roll it on on our hands, and we're going to do deep breathing through our nose, and we're going to let it out and exhale of our mouth. So we're just going to breathe in those words of promise. We're going to breathe in the words of his truth over, over us. So we're going to really breathe in this morning. Are you ready? So we're going to breathe in through the nose. Now I just lift my hands up and exhale. Breathing, especially deep breathing, is one of the most powerful things you can do to help continue to bring healing inside of your body. Very, very simple, but we need that extra oxygen that we normally don't do. You know, a lot of us do small breathing. So stop throughout the day and take deep breaths, all right? Let's invigorate. Let's add extra circulation. Let's add extra energy to everything, right? Without energy, who are we? <laughs> without energy in our day <clears throat> we're not getting much done so it's amazing how God's given us a plan for health to give us energy to give us life the world doesn't the world doesn't the world does not partner with God's way to healing and his way to life so go after you know his natural ways go after you know his word for healing go after those things that he's created in the earth that's made, you know, to really give you energy and bring healing that you need. We're going to do this a few more times. It's just so good. Breathing in and breathing out. And then one more time together. All right, we're going to go ahead and simply take our right hand, put it on our left knee, and do a nice, simple back stretch. And if you look down, you're also stretching out your neck, and it's really good. I'm looking back here, my, my wonderful garden is here. Our tomatoes are looking fabulous. We're already getting okra. It's really, really rewarding. Start getting things in your garden. <laughs> Let's do that again on the other side.
Breathing through every stretch. Wonderful. We're gonna go ahead and spread out our legs into a spread eagle. You're gonna feel a really good stretch in your inner thigh, in your calves, and we're just simply gonna reach out and pull on our toes back towards us. Breathing in. And out. My husband, he's recently been seeing some eagles where he's um, been, and it's just really encouraging. I believe God's hand is still in America, and what a sign of freedom when you see eagles in the sky. It's such a beautiful reminder of um, how majestic and beautiful they are, and the bird of the United States of America, the bald eagle. As we do the spread eagle, that just reminded me of that. To the left. And let's move over to the right. It's also a nice stretch for your lower back. I feel that in my hips and lower back. Now, as much as you can, we're going to bring ourselves forward, relaxing and breathing in. Shake our legs towards the middle. And simply pull back on our toes this way. Breathing in and out. Thank you, Lord, for this is the day that you have made. We're going to rejoice. We're going to rejoice today. We're going to be glad in it. Bring back our legs. We're going to do some arm circles. So arm circles are really simple. You can do big arm circles. You can do little arm circles. You can bring them in. You can bring them out. Just have fun with arm circles today. Feel the strength in your shoulders and your arms. Right now, I'm going in a forward motion. Especially people that have a desk job, be doing some of these exercises. They're so helpful. Let's kind of stop, take a break. All right. Go back, back circles. Don't forget to be breathing through this. All right, good job, good work, my friends. And whoever's watching later, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. I would love your comment below to see who's joined, and please welcome in a friend. You can share, you know, anything from Wisdom for God's Way to Wholeness. If you're really enjoying this special natural healthy Facebook group, please share, please let others know, and it'll be a blessing to them too, like it's been for us. So we're gonna go ahead and um, do some neck massage and shoulder massage. Okay, <clears throat> so take your handy dandy essential oil, roll on. 
right behind the ears is a great spot for essential oils. There's a lymph node there. We want our lymphatic system going strong. What we're doing right now with deep breathing and what we're doing with stretching, we're getting our lymphatic fluid, right, circulating. And what we want is strong kidneys. So this is so important. You need strong kidneys to filter out that lymphatic fluid, all right? So, and then also you want to do healthy energetic things to get your lymph flowing. So the lymph is getting and grabbing all the cellular waste. So our cells need to eliminate, like our bodies eliminate, you know, our digested food. So cells eliminate, we need to eliminate, and you have to have strong kidneys. And that's what's so important people don't realize, you know, kidneys are the number one thing to help alkalize our bodies. So are you strengthening your kidneys? Are you doing the things that, you know, really help, like rebounding, deep breathing, stretching, using your essential oils back on your kidneys? Uh, it's really, really important to strengthen the kidneys so they're filtering out properly, filtering out properly. So there are um, wonderful things that, you know, I have discovered and that I am on that's alkalizing my body, filtering out my kidneys to help release more toxins. Your bowels need to be releasing toxins, your kidneys need to be filtering out, the liver, and um, so yeah, if you're looking for a whole body, natural, safe, you know, um, detox, which is, de detox is healing, detox is simply meaning let's get rid of heavy metals, let's get rid of, you know, the toxicity that we've, we've have, you know, ate. Let's get rid of those things, and um, it's really, really, really amazing when we get those roadblocks out of the way, how much energy and life and abundance we get. So it's also important what kind of food you're choosing, you know, that's life or poison. It's very, very simple. We want to choose more life, God's fruits, you know, those light, juicy, hydrating, all the minerals and vitamins you could want and fruits vegetables, you know, grab a hold of your salads, more of those are energy, more of those foods are going to keep you high in energy, high energy, right, um, but the most electrical foods are fruits, and then also herbs, so um, those are very, very important to keep flooding those in your body, it's so good, God made them for you, and your body knows how to use them properly, so uh, we'll go ahead and finish into the um, shoulders, I always love sharing about how we can make our bodies better eliminators. That's what it's all about. How's your liver? How's your kidneys? How's the bowels? So very, very simple. Making your body the best eliminator. <laughs> I'm so thankful that I recently found this profound mineral. It's incredible. Safe for all ages. This incredible mineral that honeycombs toxins inside your body. So it's like, honeycomb, I'm gonna honeycomb, I'm gonna honeycomb, I'm gonna trap you and release you out. So it's not stirring around. The toxins are not stirring around. So this profound mineral goes in and it traps and captures like a honeycomb. And the most amazing testimonies are coming out from this and getting the most effective results. Very quick, under a month. People are already noticing a difference. So if you're dealing with any kind of viral, if you're dealing with any kind of bacterial, if you're dealing with, you know, anything that's roadblocking your health, I recommend this honeycomb effect of um, this mineral that's this profound that's given to us from the very earth. So thank you, Lord, for his goodness. And thank you, Lord, for scientists and people that want good for us. And um, so yeah I am on this profound mineral right now I started a few days ago and um, so I'm just thankful that capturing releasing it's capturing and releasing any toxins that are building up inside of me okay let's go ahead and get into our reflexology moment we're gonna really focus on digestion Kidneys and adrenals, because it's all right here. So your kidneys and adrenals is kind of like right in the center of the middle of your foot. 
And then digestion flows right here from your toe down um, towards the inside of your foot. <clears throat> and then up right below your arch, but right up from your heel there. We're making kind of like an L and then the center. So the L in the center here is where we'll be massaging. And again, we're gonna add more circulation and energy flow into our body to get things circulating and moving out. <clears throat> What's amazing about the honeycomb effect from this amazing profound mineral is that it only captures the bad and leaves the good inside. Isn't that wonderful? So I'm so thankful for that. So we want to keep our good bacteria in our digestion as we are massaging our feet in the digestion area and then the kidney and adrenal area. We want to make sure that they are filtering out those toxins that we are capturing. if you have any questions or want to reach out to me about anything health related i'm always available it's my joy to help others and things that are really working for our family and helping us and i work with the doctor a natural doctor and herbalists and it's just it's just amazing partnering with them and how they're helping people and all the testimonies that they're getting it's just wonderful we're going to work on the other foot now so these are little mini reflexology sessions, but if you really work on your feet weekly, you can really get wonderful results as well. We are really going after our health when we actually take the time to do these simple things. And I'm thankful for reflexology and what it does. All right, good work. We're gonna go ahead and go into our neck roll and then we'll call it a wonderful morning together. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your morning to be strengthened, to be encouraged, to feel extra healthier, to get some educational health. <laughs> you never know when it's gonna flow for our mornings. So we're just going in and stretching our neck, how you feel that it needs to be stretched. Go forward and backward with your neck. Even take a hand and gently stretch. And gently stretch. 
Thank you so much again for joining. A personal shout out again to Abigail for joining. Hugs of health to you. Hope to see you again Wednesday. I will not be on, but Friday is looking like a go. So I will also put that in the comments below. And thank you again for joining life here at Wisdom for God's Way to Wholeness. That's exactly what us health coaches want for you is God's wholeness for your body. I declare healing in life and his prosperity and health to be upon you and in you and for your families. Again, hugs of health. Have a great Monday and look forward to seeing you on Friday.